Hi guys, how are you today? I'm very happy to be here and thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't yet, you can like, comment, subscribe. I would be happy to read your comment and to see you being a part of the Casey family. Uh, and today we are talking about 13 words you need to know when you talk about the elections or when you see or read news about the election. Okay, very, very important. Uh, because it's a huge election this year, it's uh, an important one. I'm not going to talk about my opinion or the history of the elections. I just want to talk to you about words you are seeing very often in the news and that maybe you don't really get or you want to have a more precise meaning, definition. And that's why I'm here today, to help you with these words. So we're going to start with the first one, which is a party. So when you talk about Democrats, Republicans, you are talking about a political party. So a political party is a group of people who share the same political ideas. In these political parties, you have candidates. A candidate is a person who is trying to get elected. For example, this year we have two candidates. We have Trump. Republican side, and we have Biden, Democratic side. Number three, we have a specific verb. It is to run. But not to run like running, it is to run for president. Okay, that's a verb you're going to hear a lot. Uh, maybe not now anymore, but something you heard maybe before this election. And it's to run for president. When you want to have a chance to be elected and to be a candidate, you run for president. For example, Bill Clinton ran a second time for president in 1996. Then you can hear a campaign. A campaign is when a group of people from the same party try to get someone elected. Now, another verb that is very important is to head. To head. To head is like to go. And you might hear this verb when people say a lot of people head to the polls. So to head to the polls is when people go to the polling stations. The place where you go to vote, so like to formalize the vote, is a polling station. So if you head to the polls, it just means that you're all going to vote. Now, once you are at the polling station, your vote, the vote is called a ballot. The ballot is the piece of paper with all the different candidates' names and then you have to choose to vote. And you put the ballot in a ballot box. You have your ballot, your vote. You put it in a box. That's a ballot box. And this action of taking the ballot and put it in the container is called to cast, to cast a vote. You could just say to vote, but you might hear to cast a vote. Another one that we have is a poll. A poll. A poll is basically a study where people are asked questions about things or people. Now, the next one that we have is absentee voting. Absentee voting. So this is when someone is not in the country to vote, so you're not physically in the country, but you want to vote. So what you do is you receive a ballot. Remember, the ballot is the paper with the different candidates. You receive that at home. You can mail back the ballot to vote. Okay, so that's absentee vote. And then you have another option. So our next word is mailing vote. Mailing vote. Mailing vote is literally, you receive the vote by mail, so you receive your ballot by mail, and then you can mail it back, okay? Or you can put it in a drop box. Uh, in the US, they have drop boxes a bit everywhere, so you can take your vote, your ballot, and put it in the container, in the streets, in your neighborhood, which is a drop box. And the two last ones that you are hearing a lot, a lot, <laughs> are electors. So the first one is electors and electors are a group of people that are members of the electoral college. And what is the electoral college? The electoral college is a group of people 
uh, whose job is to elect a candidate, a president. The electors can vote for any person they want, any candidates they want. They are not forced to follow people's opinion. And the last one is a swing state. A swing state. Now, something easy to remember, a swing is what children use to have fun. You can have swings in a park, you can have swings in the backyard of your house, in the garden, and you just swing. Okay? So a swing state is literally a state where nobody knows the outcome of the election. So in this state, people don't know the results of the election. So we don't know if people are going to choose a Republican Party or a Democratic Party. We don't know, we're not sure. So these states are very important, of course. And candidates, they focused their campaigns uh, on these swing states to to buy them in some way and to get the votes. Okay guys, here are your 13 words. Tell me in the comments which ones are new, which ones didn't you know, or maybe you weren't sure of the meanings, and what do you think about this election? What is going to be the outcome? Because if I post this video today, which is Friday, the 5th of, or no, the 6th of November, we don't actually have a president yet, so yeah, very exciting, very stressful as well, fingers crossed. See you next week guys, bye!